Hey guys, welcome back to Hike Oregon. Today's video is just going to be a quick holiday gift guide for the outdoorsy person in your life. If you are new here, welcome to the Hike Oregon channel. I make hiking and backpacking vlogs as well as gear reviews and just general tips and tricks videos to help you become a more confident hiker and backpacker. If you enjoy content like that, click that red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified every time I make a new video. And as always, if you want more content from me, you can support me over on Patreon, where for as little as just $1, you get two extra videos a month. Real quick disclaimer, I'm so sorry I sound like this. I have bronchitis, but I wanted to get this gift guide video out for you guys ASAP since it is Christmas very soon and I try to put one of these out every year. I have it broken down into three sections, $50 or less, $50 to $100, and then $100 to $200. Obviously you can spend way more than $200 if you're wanting to get um, expensive things like skis, snowboards, you know, some boots are upwards of $250, $300. There's snowshoes that are that much as well. Obviously backpacking backpacks and stuff like that can cost quite a bit of money as well. But those are big ticket items that are also very personal to the person receiving them. So if you are thinking of getting your spouse a backpacking backpack, you're probably not just going to go out and get them any $250 backpack. You'll likely have discussed the one they want and stuff like that. So stuff like that is not going to end up on this gift guide. These are just things that you can get the everyday outdoorsy person, whether it's hiking, backpacking related, or just outdoorsy in general. So let's start with the $50 or less. First up, I have a hydro flask. This is something that I loved receiving as a gift. It can be personalized with the different colors and mix and match. They have different designs nowadays. You can personalize it with stickers if you want to. You can do a lot with the Hydro Flask and it's always something fun to receive. I know people lose them. I know mine is dented, uh, broken. There's always different attachments that you can get that break as well. Hydro Flask is, I would say, a foolproof proof gift that you can get someone in your life. Next up, I have an actual flask for the person in your life who likes to take a little bit to drink on the trail, whether it be snowshoeing, you know, take some rum snowshoeing, or taking a little bit of tequila or something if you're going backpacking, that's always fun. Getting a little backpacking flask. I know they make ones that are a little bit more lightweight for backpacking. You can also get like a personalized flask, uh, different designs, maybe their initials engraved on it or something like that. That's always a fun gift. Next. I have a fanny pack. Fanny packs are super in right now. I know Patagonia has some. I know Lululemon has some. Fanny packs are really, really great. Even if the person in your life is not necessarily like outdoorsy or into hiking and backpacking, fanny packs are great just for everyday use and really convenient when you are traveling by airplane as well. Next is a luxury item that I have never purchased for myself but would love to receive as a gift and that is down booties. Down booties are something that are so luxurious in my opinion and make such a big difference when you are backpacking in cold weather or even just car camping in cold weather, but something that I never wanted to spend money on for me personally. So receiving them as a gift is so awesome. I also think getting down puffy pants is along that same line of super luxurious and bougie item that I would never buy for myself, but is a wonderful gift. Next up, I just have a headlamp. Headlamp is one of those things that can get kind of pricey. 25 to 50 bucks is pretty average for a headlamp. There's a bunch of different brands and kinds out there. Some of my favorite are black diamond headlamps. The rechargeable ones are really awesome. Then the person you're giving it to doesn't have to deal with the batteries and stuff like that. And they really hold a charge for a long time. I think they're really great headlamps. So beanies, socks, gloves, are three things that are always super useful 
for anyone who is into hiking and backpacking. Socks are always something that are, you know, getting old, have holes in them, and they always need to be replaced. Buying smart wool socks or darn tough socks, you know, they're not cheap. So getting something like that as a gift is always, at least for me, super appreciated. And same goes for hiking snacks. To be honest, hiking snacks can, it really adds up cost-wise. If you need a fun stocking stuffer idea or even putting together like a gift basket for that hiker in your life, getting some hiking foods is super awesome. Whether or not that be hiking snacks, fun drink mixes, you know, for electrolytes and stuff like that, hot chocolate, backpacking food is always really awesome. Just putting together some sort of fun food, hiking, backpacking food, gift basket would be a really great idea. Maps for me personally are always really fun to receive. I love getting maps for places that I'm going to be going with some friends or something like that. And then along those lines is also hiking guide books. There's always new hiking guide books coming out and I highly recommend maybe catering it to the person in your life. You know, if they really like backpacking, maybe getting them a backpacking specific book or if they like a certain area maybe getting them a book of that certain area or um, if they like fishing and hiking maybe getting them like for example I wrote the Lakes of the Cascades book where there's um, 50 incredible lake hikes and people can hike and backpack to these lakes and also go fishing which is really cool not just buying any guidebook because they might already own it but catering it a little bit towards their needs and their likes and then last but not least on this $50 and less list, I have getting books, just general books about the outdoors, whether that be like about mushrooms or foraging or trees, if they're really into trees or they are really interested in Oregon geology or something like that, or the history of Oregon's landscape. There's, I mean, a million books out there. I personally really love uh, mushroom books, foraging. I have a book on foraging that's really Really cool if someone is already really into foraging and like knows a lot about that maybe get them a foraging cookbook or something like that maybe they really like birding so you get them a birding book and some binoculars or something like that so next I have the $50 to $100 category I don't have a lot in here there are a lot of items mostly clothing I would say but again that's pretty specific to the person that you're buying for so some things I have on here are are gators. Gators are something that are pretty expensive and really useful this time of year. I would say not everyone owns gators. So if the hiker in your life has really gotten into hiking, especially uh, new to hiking in the winter or snowshoeing, maybe get them a pair of gaiters. Next I have a suggestion for uh, getting someone a pocket knife, whether it be just a Swiss army knife that has a bunch of tools and stuff on it, or just a really nice knife. I know that when I go backpacking, I do carry a small foldable knife and there are many different levels of price ranges and styles of knives. You can find really awesome knives made by local artisans or you can, you know, go to REI and get like a Gerber knife or something like that. And then next I have an item that I would like to receive as a gift. It is a luxury item in my opinion for backpacking and that is a camp chair. I would love to receive a camp chair. It's not something that I'm going to buy for myself just because I find it such a luxury item that I'm not going to spend money on that because I have limited funds. I would absolutely love to receive a camp chair and I think it would be a great gift for pretty much any hiker or backpacker in your life. Same goes for a hammock. I know there's various price ranges of hammocks. Most fall within that 50 to $100 price range. Hammocks are also awesome luxury items. Really great to either just hang in your backyard or you can take it on day hikes and just go hike to a lake and set up your hammock and read a book for a couple hours or take a nap and just be outside and enjoy the outdoors. And some people take them backpacking as well. 
And last but not least, I have the $100 to $200 category. Just a few items real quick. One of them I'm wearing, it's the Patagonia Fleece Quarter Zip. I absolutely love these. They have these in so many different colors and they are so warm and so cozy. Perfect for this time of year and an absolute treat and great present to receive. Next, I have trekking poles, uh, specifically Black Diamond or the Knock Outdoors. They are both really, really great brands that make incredible trekking poles. So if someone in your life has, you know, had the same $20 Amazon trekking poles for five years and you would like to upgrade their trekking poles or you know their trekking pole broke last year on South Sister or something like that, I think trekking poles would make a really great present. Shoes are something, again, that's a little bit more personal, but if you know that someone has really been wanting a pair of Hoka's or Ultra's or specific boots, maybe a specific Keen boot or something like that, you can maybe just get them an REI gift card for the boots so that they can go in and try out the shoe, or you can um, ask them specifically what kind of shoe they've been wanting. I know Hoka's are really popular right now just for everyday use in general not specifically for hiking but just for every day so um, maybe getting them a fun pair of shoes would be a great gift and then last but not least I have on here uh, a jet boil jet boils are not only for backpacking I personally use my camp stove for this time of year when I go day hiking specifically longer day hikes or snowshoeing excursions I love having a pot and a stove that can really quickly boil some water so I can either make a hot tea, cider, hot chocolate, or coffee in the middle of my day um, at lunch break, and it really warms you up from the inside out. It's a great thing to have. Jet boils boil water super fast, and especially in cold weather, I highly recommend those stoves, not only for backpacking, but like I said, for cold weather day hiking, they are super awesome. And I'd love to hear some of your gift suggestions in the comments. Everything that I have talked about, I will link in the more info box below this video. Everything I have linked is an affiliate link and it really, really, really helps support this channel and the continuation of Hike Oregon if you shop through my affiliate links, whether it be Amazon, REI, or anything like that. It truly helps me out and I greatly appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the next adventure.